Hello everyone, so welcome to section 2.4 and in this section we are going to learn another method to solve first order differential equations. So far we learned separation of variables, integrating factor method and now we are going to learn a one final method. Now this method requires the capability of taking partial derivatives of a function. So we will recall that in this video also but we will look at some stuff that we need to know how to solve the differential equation using this new method so if you can remember from calculus through but if calculus 3 if you cannot remember that's also fine let's say we have a function z where it's a function of x and y a 2d function and let's assume that this function have first order partial derivatives or first exist first order partial derivatives in the xy plane on a on a region on a certain region of an xy plane then we can write this function as in this form we take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x partial derivative of f with respect to y if they exist we call this form the differential not the def derivative okay the differential of the function c now if the function c is a constant then this dc will be zero so that's a special case and that is the special case that we are working with in this section okay so we say that it's a constant function function is equal to a constant okay now before we move on let's recall how to take partial derivatives so we have function let's say 2x square minus 3xy square plus y square minus 1 this is a function f function of both x and y now let's say you want to take the partial derivative of f with respect to x now the difference between partial derivative and ordinary de derivative is that when you differentiate partially with respect to x you treat all the other variables except x as to be constants so here there are only two variables x and y now you differentiate with respect to x okay so you treat y as a constant so if you differentiate f with respect to x partially here if you differentiate with respect to x it will be 4x right here if you differentiate 3x with respect to x it's just 3 right not only 3 3y square now you didn't do anything with y square i know it's a variable but we are differentiating partially with respect to x so y square is a constant so it's like 3y square is just a one number okay and here if you differentiate y square partially with respect to x again y square is a constant now what do you get if you differentiate a constant you get zero right so nothing here if you differentiate one it's nothing here right so the partial derivative of this function with respect to x is what you have here now let's differentiate this function with respect to y partially okay so we have this function here now we want to differentiate it with respect to y partially then what do you think okay i'm differentiating with respect to y my x is a constant okay so 2x square if you differentiate it with respect to y it's 0 minus 3y square if you differentiate it with respect to y this 2 will come down so it will become 6x x is a constant here 6xy now you differentiate y it's 2y if you differentiate 1 it's 0 so basically your partial derivative of f with respect to y is this function Okay, so that is the partial derivative quick uh, review of the how to take partial derivatives. Now let's learn the key important things in next video. Thank you.